Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. So as I mentioned in my last video, today we are filming the Santi video. They did send me all this makeup for free and I'm so grateful. They did have like a PR search kind of thing and they chose a couple people for the one month and then every month they're going to be switching. So I'll leave their Instagram handle right here and you should go follow them because you could be the one receiving free makeup next month. So make sure to follow them on their instagram um yeah so i thought that was really sweet and i'm so happy to have been chosen and i did want to mention real quick this is going to be a lot of information in one video i'm wearing this la colors color craze nail polish and this one's in 232 in the shade fresh start you know just in case you wanted to know what i'm wearing on my nails i did recently purchase this it's such a beautiful color so if you see this i usually get my nail polishes at dollar tree for a dollar i just wanted to warn you guys if you ever get the la color base coat or if you've been thinking about it i don't recommend it it leaves like a bunch of little bumps on your nail yeah so this i don't recommend i really do enjoy their nail polishes though they have a variety of shades speaking of nail polishes I do have a friend here on YouTube as well as on Instagram, Jennifer Creative Space, I believe is the Instagram handle. I'll leave the name right here. I just wanted to give her a shout out because she's so supportive and she's just amazing. Speaking about nail polishes, um, it just reminded me of her because her she has like videos on nail polishes and her all of her orange nail polish, all of her red nail polishes, etc. So you should go check her out. She is going to be posting Tuesday thursday and every other sunday just like me so if you want like a double whammy you know you get two in one you could go follow her we're literally going to be posting on the same days so if you love being on youtube you love beauty videos yeah you should go check her out i did want to mention i do have two palettes from santi this is one that i've had for a while now and this is actually my first palette of theirs this is the ocean palette it's so beautiful i love like the shimmers oh, they're so beautiful so these are like, what, $1.99 or $2? Such great quality. I'll put a picture up of um, my looks using this one. I did post like two. One of them, I loved how that came out on the 4th of July using this palette. And that one, I just love it. They're just so nice. So this is the first palette that I've ever bought from them. I did get curious and went to pick up the Cherry Fantasy palette. And this one has such amazing shades. I haven't gotten around to using it but i did swatch and they're so buttery and creamy i love like the packaging but we're not going to spend too much time on this these two i did purchase myself let's get into the makeup that they sent me so first we're talking about the santi eyebrow pencil and it's like the ones with like it's so cool right like it looks like you could attack someone if they come at you when you're doing your makeup and what the only thing i, I don't like it already started like rubbing off like the letters started rubbing off on the thingy but it's okay the thing that surprised me when you take this off you get the pencil right it's like slanted reminds me of the browy wowie by LA colors what i was thinking is like wow it doesn't have a spoolie whatever so then i it they have a spoolie i didn't even know it was like hidden so i'm so excited it's so cute i don't know what shade this is but it's like a deep brown um as you can see in this swatch which is perfect for my brows so what I'm gonna do is just outline and this isn't the first time that I'm using all these products there I did want to try them out together just to kind of get an idea of what I'm working with because first impressions you know are a little a little tricky because things kind of work differently when using different products but this is one that right off the bat the day that I used it and right now it's super creamy and just like glides on which is perfect for what I'm doing because it's just like super easy and creamy and that was super fast so now what I'm gonna do now that we outlined I'm gonna go in with this other product they sent me and this is the eye and brow beauty kit palette and the little brush keeps falling off really do like this brush these are the shades and i did kind of swatch them so i'll put a picture but they are brow shades so um they're not like intense intense but they show up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with i'm just gonna mix these two and yeah let's see how that looks but i did use it last time like i said i do love using this little brush just because i don't have like a specific brow brush as you can see it's like already filling in the the, the brow nicely I hope you guys can see that. 
and I'm not just imagining stuff. It works great with that pencil. This is a little hard to hold, but you know what? This is amazing. Like if you're on the go, um, if you want to just like touch up your brows. I love how it leaves them. Like they're not like super dark. Just go back with this pencil and I'm just going to spoolie the lines so it doesn't look harsh. But it's so nice. Last time I used it, I feel the same way. I'm so glad they sent me the shade because it's like perfect. It's not like too defined. It just looks good. I would definitely recommend. Um, this one I think would be perfect if you're traveling or on the go or if you like powder products more. Definitely recommend this one. But both of them together are amazing. I'm so happy that I got this because I had been eyeing this. It just kind of reminds me like a Louis Vuitton or whatever the way that you guys say it. Um, just you know how their nail polishes and their lipsticks have like that point. It just reminds me of that. I don't know. I just love like how different it is. I love this one. I'm going to do quick off camera. It's just um, clean up my brows a bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm priming my lids with the Essence. I love stage primer, which I mentioned quite a few times. Let's get into the palettes that they sent me. And they did send me this. I'm sorry, I keep scratching my ear. It just itches for some reason. They sent me the Santee Flare palette. And this is how that looks. It reminds me kind of like of the Makeup Revolution palette sort of kind of. Like the chocolate bar for some reason. I don't know. It's giving me those vibes. I really love the color scheme in here. I did use it once before and I really did enjoy it. I am going to have some swatches right here. Um, for the swatches, I did do flash and then non-flash. Just because I feel like with flash, you can see more of a dimension in the shadows. Especially the shimmer ones. And then with the non-flash, you kind of see the mattes in a better lighting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into directly into this orange shade. And I'm going to build that up in the crease. I love this orange shade. Last time it did surprise me because I didn't think it was going to be this pigmented like it's so good I have no idea what with my eye look today I do oh I, I did you like I mentioned I did use these products before so I'll put a picture of how that look came out I really did enjoy that that look came out really nice the only thing that I didn't use that day was the lip products and the glitter that they sent me i'm gonna see if i want to use it today but as you can see like it just blended out nicely that orange shade is so nice so what i want to do last time when i did was i went into this brown shimmer shade and it worked great in the outer corner so i kind of want to do that today because i really liked how that came out and it built up really nicely because that day i guess i didn't realize it was a shimmer but it's a nice they just blend so nicely. I do have to say the shimmers in this palette didn't blow me away. Um, like, you know, they're not the best in the world. Go over this just to kind of blend everything together. Um, yeah, the shimmers didn't blow me away. I did swatch them. I didn't apply them on the eye though last time. There is this blue shade that's really beautiful on this palette. I think this would be a great gift though. Like, if you want to gift it to someone because it has a variety of shades in here it's really beautiful i really love like this blue shade i'm just gonna put it out here oh you know what let's just put it all over let's see how it performs because last time i didn't use the shimmers in this palette right now i'll show you which ones i used i really love like the mattes i really love how you could build up the shimmer in the crease like that that brown that we just used the palette that blew me away was this magic palette so funny because we me and my boyfriend used to go to the store and we do a lot of finds and we always would see these and i never really bit the bullet it was only like a dollar so it wouldn't have been a big deal but for some reason i don't know i always thought like oh maybe they're like chunky shimmers they're not gonna look good in the eye swatches speak for themselves they're just so amazing and so shiny and shimmery i regret not purchasing this sooner it's just so beautiful i'm gonna just go into this blue shade and i'm gonna pack it in my lid i'm gonna take my finger beautiful shade last time i did use you see how right off the bat like pigment of course you don't have to use your finger 
is such a beautiful shade. Oh, it's so beautiful. Last time I used the purple, I believe. Yeah, I used this purple, and I think I did some of this one. I haven't used the pink, but they are so nice and so creamy. Just like right off the bat, you could tell a difference between those two shimmers, the one from the palette and this palette. And I'm gonna go back in here, and I'm just gonna use that brown shimmer shade that I used earlier. If you haven't jumped in the Santee bandwagon, they have such affordable products. If you haven't already checked out their stuff, you need to. It's so pretty. And you see how the shimmer, the brown, it's just it's so beautiful. Yeah, I just love how this looks. I really recommend, if not this one, check out the Little Magic palettes. You get four shimmers, and I believe they have different like styles and stuff. I, like I said, we've done like finds so i'll try to find some finds um on my instagram but yeah i definitely definitely 100 percent recommend the magic palette if you don't want to buy this one but this one's only like a dollar or two i think i'm sure the flare palette also a great buy if you want to purchase that but definitely this one for sure what i do want to do quickly is put some eyeliner on and i'm gonna do that off camera because this isn't a Santi product, it's just a Pink Panther one that I mentioned a few times and I'll be right back. So my liner kind of took off and they kind of look crazy but I really like how this look came out and I don't mind the big wings, I just love it. So next we're going to finally use the Santi Glitter Powder and this is for face and body, the shade 12 and we're just going to create this line. So it has a little like sifter if you can tell there's like three little dots in there i'm gonna go in with my city color sparkle and shine um it's a glitter primer it's just the one that i have i've never tried the santi one but i know jennifer creative space um she did talk about that in her last video and i just put some on the lid it's so beautiful i'm gonna take some and i'm gonna try to create a line It's really pretty like in the sun and the light I love using glitter and doing it like that I like this thing like if you just so it's not super messy I just for this, doing this I usually just dip into like the whole little pot of glitter but that could be kind of scary because then if it flips over and then it gets everywhere um for now I mean I like it, it kind of reminds me of my J cat one it's really pretty I have a similar shade to this and I feel like it looks really nice on the lid. So now that we've finished um, the eyes, kind of, sort of, we'll go back to them later. I'm going to go in with this Santi Face Primer. This is a Magic Perfecting Oil-Free Foundation Primer. And this is meant to be, it says, long-lasting and it's a natural finish. I do have oily skin. Um, so the day that I tried this, I, it comes out like a white. Ah, okay, that scared me. <laughs> I did notice my foundation was dewier than usual. I don't remember which one I used. Whoa, I think I put too much. Um, I really did enjoy how it looked because I'm so used to having a matte skin. But recently I've been into more like, not dewy, but kind of like a natural, like a natural finish kind of situation. I feel like um, the, the foundation I'm gonna use today is extremely matte like it would like dry up my skin so much that it would peel so we're gonna see how it works with that foundation because i think it'll really balance out since this is kind of hydrating and natural opposed to the other one which is super drying and hopefully they make a, a cute like nice little medium for my face today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my stay matte foundation i'm gonna go and put my concealer on which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I have two shades I have the creamy beige and the light ivory I don't want this video to be super long so I'm just gonna do all my my regular routine go in with my wet and wild my fit me and we're just gonna do all that and we're gonna get back to the other products that Santi sent me okay we're back so I'm gonna go into the blush that they sent me this is a J color natural glow blush and i don't think it has a name on it it just says natural glow i don't know if that's the name of the blush i'm sure it is i don't know but this is such a beautiful color what i noticed right off the bat when i got this product this one had like a bunch of little glitter specks in it um but it was an overspray 
so if you do look at these blushes and you get scared you're like oh man that's like a lot of glitter like that's gonna look crazy on my skin um literally um after a couple uses it already like came off which is great because you have no idea how happy i was when i saw that because this shade is so beautiful but it's even more beautiful now that it doesn't have like the little glitter specks on it i have a swatch of it which i'll have displayed here it's such a beautiful blush it's so it's like perfect for me i love all the products that they send me because i feel like so i don't know i don't know if they checked like who they were sending it to or if it was just i'm sure it was just random but i feel like these products were meant for me like i love like the colors they sent me the glitter's purple i'm gonna show you right now the glitter itself the pink one is really nice like i've used pink glitters like this before the palette is beautiful the magic palette is beautiful and i just love everything that they sent me i'm so grateful like i i would never have thought like i'd be receiving free makeup and stuff to try i'm just i'm happy this is such a beautiful one if you've been looking for like an, an inexpensive blush that it just looks nice i love it it's so easy and natural and it, it shows up it's not like it disappeared and i mentioned quite a few times that i'm a blush girl so i don't know you should try this out if you see it at the store it's only probably like a dollar or two it's so beautiful like you need to check it out i'm so like this is like the product that i, I just i love when i saw it i was like yes like oh i'm so excited like i just love it i love the packaging it does come with a little like brush here so if you needed to go traveling let's say if you pick it up out of a whim or if you don't like if you don't have your own brushes it does come with a brush um i just didn't use it i took it out of here but this is such a beautiful blush i definitely recommend this one i love how it looks go into this product and this is their new j color or santee pro glow baked bronzer it's so beautiful this one's in perfect bronze such a beautiful oh such a beautiful product last time i used it as a highlight i am gonna do that today again um i'm not a huge fan of glowy bronzers but it was super natural on my skin which led me to believe you know it is probably gonna look better as a bronzer for me but I don't know i loved how it looked as a highlight like it was just so subtle and glowy like I, I don't know i love it as a highlight like usually i love like popping highlights but this one it just looks so pretty on the skin like it looks like natural like you didn't like put on a bunch of highlight on your face yet you could build it up and it just looks wet there's gonna be a day where I use it as a bronzer. I'm just gonna put some on my brow bone. But yeah, I don't know. I'm like I said, like the the primer already gives me like a natural kind of look. I don't really, I don't know. Maybe soon. Maybe a day when I go to the beach, I'll try it as that. As a highlight, I really, really, really love this product. I love how glowy and natural it looks. Like I just love it. So if you see these at your store. You should pick it up because it's so amazing again this is the one in perfect bronze and if you love like a glowy bronzer it's so beautiful i'm kind of tempted now but not today i'll use it another day as a bronzer but as a highlight it's so beautiful I did just go under the lash line and i just use that shimmer brown shade that we use the the crease of our eyes i'm gonna go back into the magic palette and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this light purple and i'm gonna put it in the inner corner okay that looks good so now that we went in with that we're gonna go and use another product that they sent me and this is the santi diamond liner and isn't this packaging just fabulous so what this is just glitter so what i'm gonna do is just take this and put it in the inner corner yeah it gives it like a pop just a little more of like that purple it looks beautiful right now that i'm looking at the sun uh, at the sun. <laughs> i'm looking outside so it's like natural lighting i really do like this it's definitely more subtle than the actual like glitter like the other one that i showed you guys the pink one but it's just nice it um i'll flash the picture that i that of the look that i did last time and i did use it kind of like where i use the pink today but i did like wing it out kind of like a butterfly style situation just like shoo and i really loved how that looked it looks super subtle but it still added like i don't know it just looked really nice it added like a little something extra to the look 
so yeah these are really nice um really beautiful and perfect for like those days when you're feeling kind of like you want to add glitter but not like look crazy kind of so kind of like more wearable glitter i would definitely recommend this this is really nice super easy to apply so i did go in with some essence make me brow in my brows just to kind of bring them back to life after all the products and powders that i used i did go in with mascara as you can tell the luminous lash paradise my fave and it's just nice i really love how they, this look came out but we're not done there are two more products that they sent me we're gonna line the lips and i'm gonna use my ebon auto lip liner we're gonna go into the product that they sent me and it is the santi long lasting matte liquid lipstick and this one's in number 16 it's like a peachy kind of nude i'll have a swatch right here it is so hot today so if you see like little i get little dots on my nose from <laughs> little sweat dots on my nose I know TMI but and I have to say that this oh my goodness it smells so good so that's the shade number 16 I love how it looks with the liner I think they go great together last time I used it without a liner and with my skin tone it didn't look that great um, I really love that they sent me a nude shade it's not sticky I love how it smells I love how the packaging kind of has like this um Kind of like a stopper right here where it's like it kind of stops you from getting a lot of product out it kind of like squ squishes the the wand a little bit i like the wand as well look it's a long kind of applicator and it just lets you kind of line your lips and then fill them in easily i really do like this product is it my favorite out of everything they sent me no am i going to reach for this more than all the stuff that i have no but it's nice it's nice to have i really love this shade so you know if you're looking for products you want to look for a new kind of formula it's not sticky at all i really like it i really like the packaging i like how i don't know i love how like you know some packagings like really distort the the shade i feel like the shade looks exactly like it does in the tube i really like this product um yeah but is it my favorite no but is it okay yes so oh my god i'm like it's hot it's so hot today so the last product the last product was this holographic lip gloss and this one doesn't really have a shade name on it or a number um however i'm not gonna use it today i don't feel like it goes with the look we're gonna add some gloss but we're not gonna use this one today i am gonna use it with a red lipstick soon because i feel like it'll look so good over that um i did use it over this lipstick and it just looks kind of like they don't go together that well so i am gonna use it with like a more red lipstick or more raspberry kind of like this shade lipstick and see how it looks over that um, but yeah, this is the last product. I'll put a swatch of it. It's really nice. It smells so good as well. Other products smell so good. And this is the last um, item that they sent me. I'm going to go over quickly with some MAC's lip gloss. This is just like my favorite lip gloss. Yeah, I mean, it's not the color that I would choose to go with this eye look. Um, I did just... Today was just playing with makeup. We're playing with makeup. We're having fun. Nothing was planned. This is definitely not what I planned or what I thought it would come out like. I really love how it came out though like you know when you like I don't know I didn't know what to expect because this was a new palette and new glitters and new products and it was so exciting we made it to the end I'm just gonna spray my face with my forever 21 spray and we'll end it so I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming this for you today like I said all these products were sent to me by Santi um, because of a PR search that they were having and I happened to win um and get a spot in there for this month and i'm so grateful so so grateful for it thank you so much santi you guys should definitely 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 check out santi cosmetics if you haven't already they have such affordable products it kind of reminds me like of shop miss a you know how people buy like dollar products or whatever and they're really good um i've never tried that but <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that i think if i had to pick something out of everything that i tried today i think my most favorite thing is the bronzer the new one even though i didn't use it as a bronzer i really love how it looks as a highlight it's just so natural and beautiful oh i love it so much and the lip product i love how the shade looks with you know now that i'm getting i just like it i've been into nudes more i really love the glitter i love that pop of purple glitter that we put in the inner corner i'm even digging like the big wing that i did because i feel like it just goes so well with the look yeah let me know what you think let me know what you liked most out of all the stuff that i tried today and of course they didn't tell me i had to make a video i just did it because i wanted to show you guys the new products that i got and it's fun to play with makeup and see where it takes us and it was just fun and i hope you guys enjoyed it too all the items that i use today all the pr items and all of the non-pr items will be down below all the names all the prices everything is down there 
as well as some videos that I posted last week. If you want to give those a watch, they'll be down there in the description box as well. I post every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every other Sunday. Again, my friend Jennifer's Creative Space, she also uploads the same days. She's just amazing. You should go check her out. She is starting to get into the groove of posting more frequently. And if you guys could go show her some love, that would be amazing. Um, you know, she's just so nice and she's always like supporting me. And I kind of just want to show her that back because she is really super talented. So if you have a chance, go check her out. I think her Instagram is the same name as her YouTube. And of course, I'll have her channel linked down below if you want to check her out. If you would like to follow me on my Instagram journey, I'll have my Insta handle right here. I post a lot of finds, a lot of lipstick swatches, a lot of makeup shots. Um, it's just a lot of fun over there. If you want to come join us, that would be amazing. It would be great if you could like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. You are your own person and you make your own decisions. But it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.